Okay, this is a review of uh, Monday Night Class. Um, it's a collection of many, many notes going way back to September of 2008. The first uh, rule, the first thing we're going to talk about is how to use the um, preposition on. Remember the on machine rule on TV, on the radio, on the computer, on the internet, on the telephone, but not on facsimile. So on is used with all machines, right? Uh, on the screen. Uh, on, on the screen, on is also used for things that's actually physically on, like on the computer screen, on a cover of a book. Well, I don't have a book here, but for example, on the cover of this. Like there's nothing on the cover. Right? Um, on a page. So it's in the magazine. If this is a magazine, and the article is in the magazine, it's on page 8. Right? On the page 8. On is also used uh, with drugs. So even if you don't know the name of a drug, like if I say a, a strange name like Xanatol, he's, he's on Xanatol, or he's on Mydax. Um, if, even if you don't know what that word is, if I say he's on Mydax, you can uh, assume, you can think, ah, maybe Mydax is a drug. So it gives you an idea. He's on, or you can say if he's like crazy, like he's on drugs. When people are crazy, we say, what do you want? What are you on? Okay, that kind of thing. Okay, he's on uh, two milligrams of xanathol. He was on cocaine. He was on morphine. Okay. On is also used for to describe a house that is near a lake or a body of water. For example, he has a house on the ocean. She has a house on the lake. I, I used to have a house on the river. My parents have a house on the beach. In all of these uh, examples, the house is not on the water. It's near the water. Uh, it's next to, right? In front of, okay? So sometimes we say waterfront property. Waterfront property. And that's expensive property, right? Okay? When you get a telephone call, if you get a telephone call while um, you're with someone physically, my telephone rings and oh I'm sorry, I have to take this. Come inside just the I have to take this. I'm sorry, I have to I have to take this. Okay. If you want to be polite, you can ask, Do you mind if I take this? Do you do you mind if I take this? Of course, usually that person will say, Yeah, I don't mind, go ahead. Right? Do you mind if I take this? I'm sorry, I have to take this. Okay. Uh, I don't remember why we made this sentence. But she's twice the size of my dog. She's twice the size of my dog. Twice the size of my dog. Her height is twice my height. That's a big woman. <laughs> or a giraffe or something. Her height is twice my height. Um, if you're akumyo, aku, you may for bad reasons, you may, you may, you may, you may this um, for bad reasons were infamous. She's infamous or notorious. Okay, someone who is a chikan or hentai, we call them in English. We say pervert. You pervert. Don't be a pervert. What a pervert. If something is super funny, we say it's hilarious. That was so funny. That was hilarious. If someone is very shitsure, we say they are impolite. Impolite or rude. If someone is always on time, we say they are punctual. Punctual. Okay? Something that many people argue about, like giron no topic toka, we say that kind of topic is controversial. Controversial. For example, do you think American troops should be in Okinawa? Well, that's a very controversial topic. Controversial topic. Giron no yonderu wa dai, I guess. Okay. If you are running quickly and you put too much energy in your leg, you might accidentally pull a muscle. Like, like if I'm, if I'm um, working out and I'm doing, um, doing dumbbells and suddenly, ah, ah, oh, 
I pulled, I pulled a muscle. I pulled a muscle. Okay. Or um, I remember a long time ago during the Olympics, one of the athletes, he was lifting up weights and suddenly his shoulder came out, right? And we say he dislocated his shoulder. You can dislocate a shoulder. You can dislocate a, a thumb like this. See? Dislocate. Oh, no. I dislocated my thumb. Oh, I die. Right? Like that. Okay. Um, anyway. Ja, jōkyō or jōken ni yoru. It depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. I think we were talking about abortions. Would you get an abortion? Hmm. It depends on the situation. She's corrupt. The word corrupt is used for someone, usually in high power, who accepts bribes or takes bribes, right? She's corrupt. Um, who's corrupt? Nixon was corrupt? I don't know. Who's corrupt? Well, many Japanese politicians, many American politicians are corrupt. Many Chinese and Russian politicians are corrupt. Okay. If you're if you want to say good luck to someone who's in a play, then you should say break a leg. Don't say good luck. If someone is going to perform on stage, don't say good luck. Say break a leg. Break a leg. Okay. Ishu ni shashin tatte desu ka? Could we have our pictures taken together? Could we have our pictures taken together? Just for the hell of it is an expression we used for betsuni ryu nashi kedo yaritai koto, right? For example, um, uh, what's an example? What's a good example? Um, oh, if you ask someone, why did you, like, maybe high school students, like, why did you get an earring? I don't know, just for the hell of it. Betsuni, imi na, yaritai kato dake ne? Just for the hell of it. Mu sekini no hito wa in uh, the adjective is he's irresponsible. He's irresponsible. Okay. Niku kaku. Ah, naikaku. Okay. Um, aso, in, back in September, I guess it was aso, he changed the cabinet. Naikaku wo kawatta ne. He changed the people. He changed his cabinet or changed the cabinet. Okay, they're going to have an election. They'll have an election for president of the party. Going to have have an election. Have a hold hold an election. Hold H O L D or have an election. Um I don't know this last sentence. It says, they are second generation candidates for prime minister. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Okay, that's all for September 8th, uh, about 2008, Monday night class. Um, if you're not in that class, I'm sure you can still learn a lot from this lesson just by listening closely. Talk to you soon.